Hey YouTube, so I've been trying to do another video in today's video, but doing a Star Wars video. So, in The Force Awakens, Rey has a lightsaber duel against Kylo Ren, who has had training from Luke Skywalker and Snoke, but still loses to her even though she had no training other than owning a staff her whole life. Don't get me wrong, I liked Episode 7 and how it introduced Rey as a loner on another desert planet that is able to hold her own, but she can't start out stronger than the villain. If she's, already, if she's already stronger than Ben with the Force, there's no reason for her to train with Luke in Episode 8. To be honest, I don't even know why she decided to find Luke when she did not know anything about the Jedi before she found Leia or even cared about the Resistance. Her motive is clear, but the reason for her motive is unclear. She immediately trusts everyone but Finn when realistically she should trust almost no one because she is literally alone on a planet with shady characters and was abandoned by her parents for unknown reasons until episode 9. The Force Awakens asks the question, who are Rey's parents and where does the, they, where do they come from or where does she come from? Episode 8, The Last Jedi supposedly answers this question for us when Kylo Ren tells Rey that she's nobody and that her parents were some drunk traders that sold her for credits. This gives the, the sequel trilogy the theme of, you can be anybody even if you are nobody which can be a good message, but is later o overturned when we find out that she is Palpatine's granddaughter, and the only reason she is so powerful is that she is related to Sheev Palpatine, and just to clarify, that even if she was related to no one that we have ever heard of or seen in the Star Wars franchise, and the theme for the trilogy was that it does not matter who your parents are, you can still be great, that is not anything new for Star Wars, it's not a new message or theme. Anakin Skywalker's mother was not force strong and and he did not have a father. Most of the younglings found uh, by the Jedi are just nobodies and they still become Jedis. Mace Windu was nobody before he earned his name. Same with Ahsoka, Plo Koon, and Kit Fisto. They used to all be nobodies just like Rey was said to be in The Last Jedi. The Rise of Skywalker does not even tell us who Rey's grandmother is or who her parents are or if they're even force sensitive or not. I do not know why Rey called herself a Skywalker at, at the end of the ninth film. Instead of a solo, you are an evil um, instead of a solo at, or even Palpatine because it does not matter who you are related to, right? It doesn't matter if you're an evil man's grandchild. Luke was literally the son of Darth Vader and he did not succumb to the dark side. That was also Ben Solo's story arc up for a bit of the trilogy. He wanted to be like his evil grandfather. Rey did not have much of a relationship with Luke, or not a good one anyway. They spent most of Episode 8 arguing, and they shared a short scene together in Episode 9, which didn't really mean much for the relationship. Rey had more of a bond with Han Solo than, he, than she did with Luke. Leia was like a mother figure for Rey, and they shared lots of moments together on and off screen. She also had a bond with Ben Solo. Whether it was a romantic one or not, she spent a lot of time with him. And, and had a tele telepathic connection with him, calling herself a Skywalker does not make sense, or not as much sense as a Solo Palpatine. Episode 9 could have been called The Rise of Solo or The Rise of Palpatine, which would make fans speculate and wonder what it would mean more than The Rise of Skywalker. What does her yellow lightsaber even mean? In the Clone Wars TV show, we see some temple guards with double-sided yellow lightsabers. Does this mean that Rey is supposed to be a guardian of some sort? Ultimately, Rey's arc does not work. I guess you can say that she wants to be a Jedi, even though at times she seems like she wants to join Kylo in the dark side. Rey trains with Leia and Luke to be to be something that is dead, which is a Jedi. The Jedi Order is dead. Since she is so powerful, she basically is a Jedi already. Rey is untouchable. In the prequels, Anakin loses his legs, and in the originals, Luke loses a hand because they grow with the Force. They're not just ultimate. They're not just powerful right away. But Rey, she does not. She is already the most powerful thing in the galaxy, hence killing Sheev so easily even after he took down a huge fleet of ships with his force lightning. Disney wanted to make Rey into a strong, independent woman so much that they made her unstoppable from almost the beginning. Palpatine must have known this and that is why he either wanted to have her dead or, or have her on, the, on his side and that's why he asked Kylo Ren to kill her at the beginning of the movie and then, want, and then told her that he never wanted to kill her and that he wants her on his side. Maybe she made the new the dark side ray hallucination for Ray to know what she could be.
how strong she could be with the dark side. She she does finally lose to Ren in the newest Star Wars film, but it was written in the story a little too late, for my tasting my taste anyway. In the end, Ray Ray in the sequel trilogy started out a rather, as a rather okay with Episode Seven because Episode Seven is, I do like Episode Seven, but and and but ended off a little worse in Episode Nine. The transformation was. I don't know. From episode 7 to episode 9, there wasn't much of a transformation. She's already basically the same. Strongest Force-sensitive user we've seen, basically. Stronger than Kylo, stronger than Palpatine, apparently. Probably stronger than Darth Vader. And, yeah, she doesn't change much other than the fact that, you know, she's not a Jedi, and then she is a Jedi. From episode 7 to episode 9. But she still has around the same morals as she had before, she kind of wants to be a good guy. The only real story arc she has is, you know, being tempted with the dark side. But we all know that she wasn't going to join the dark side, though. We all knew that. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe for more, and bye. Peace out.